Meme credits to the one and only Allison Guti, the best email deliverability expert and email content creator on this planet. And if you're done enjoying the meme above, it's time to take our email opt-in strategy to the next level. What better way to increase our email deliverability than sending to users who have explicitly opted in to email? Check out this full video to learn how to set up double opt-in for email subscription in Brace. What's up, everyone? What's up, everyone? My name is Alan, founder and consultant at Fornal Marketing, and welcome back to our channel. It has been a while. I am glad to be back. Uh, before we get started, if you have any questions, whether you are currently using Braze or considering using Braze, please feel free to reach out. You can find these addresses and more in the YouTube description below. So today we're going to walk through how to set up double opt-in for email subscription in Brace. So after this video, we have no excuse not to set up double opt-in for email subscription for any teams using Brace. Let's get started. Before we get started, let's briefly talk about the three types of email subscription state. And if you haven't already, please check out this video also titled Braze Email Global Subscription States. In Braze, there are three email subscription states, unsubscribed, subscribed, and opted in. Yes, that's opted underscore in if we're being precise with the exact Braze values. When a user first signs up and gets a Braze profile created, their default email subscription state will be subscribed. And technically, you're able to start sending marketing emails to these users right away until they unsubscribe. However, a robust email marketing program will set up what's called a double opt-in, which is when the brand requires their users to provide a second layer of consent, in addition to a general or easy to miss terms and conditions consent. These users will be sent an initial welcome email upon account creation. And inside that initial welcome email, they'll be asked to click a link, an explicit action, to agree to receive further marketing communications. And we know that these users will want to receive email because they actually explicitly asked for it. And we will use the email subscription status, opted in, to mark that users have been successfully double opted in to receiving email. Lastly, in the words of Allison, permission is the strongest signal of positive engagement potential and deliverability relies on sustained positive engagement. So let's jump into Braze and set up our double opt-in. First, let's build a welcome email that a user will receive upon creating an account. So I'm gonna go ahead and build an email campaign and we will call this double opt-in for now marketing. Oops. And I'm gonna just use one of Braze's uh, email templates to the welcome uh, template. I'll call this Welcome DOI. And what's going to happen is we're going to make sure that this login button is going to be the CTA that our new users will have to click to explicitly opt in into opt into receiving emails. So let's find that login button. Let's make it something more like sign me up for emails. And then right now the anchor tag, uh, the hyperlink is to just a hashtag. We'll call, we'll change it to HTTPS colon colon for now marketing.com. That is the link to my website. Um, and let me just make sure I spelled that correctly. Awesome. Looks good. And real quick, a special shout out to Richard Perry, who helped me find out that link aliasing and the and this campaign setup will only work if HTTPS is included in our URL. So make sure that your link follows that rule also. Don't forget about that rule. They also highlighted in the Braze documentation to track link engagement metrics. Make sure your link proceeds with either HTTP or HTTPS. This next step is crucial, so make sure to follow along. We are now going to click link management and on this page, any URLs from your email will automatically populate here. And you have the option of tracking these individual links by giving it an alias. And you'll also notice that the, there is a LID or link ID that is automatically added to any links you had in your email. So let me see if I can find uh, my login link here. Uh, actually, it's called sign me up now. So that's that's where it is. And notice I only put fornowmarketing.com, but Braze automatically added this uh, parameter, the link ID, as soon as I clicked link management. And you can also see that the 46PV 
matches a 4.6 PV here. So we know that those two are identical. Let's also name this link alias DOI or something easy for us to find later on. Um, and then we, once again, made sure to check this box so that we can start tracking this link. Um, and then let's go ahead and click done. This campaign will be launched immediately and I will only send it to my test user. Uh, whoops, I will only send it to my test user by looking up my test email address, which is alan at fornowmarketing.com. Make sure to uncheck the control group and then we are good to launch this campaign. So let's go ahead and launch it. And a quick confirmation that I did in fact receive the welcome DOI email. And the point is that when a user receives this welcome email and I click this button to sign up for, to explicitly sign up for double opt-in emails, that's, uh, that's the completion of my double opt-in email marketing program. I won't click on it quite yet because we need to set up the canvas that will allow us to do that. So we'll do that next. So we now have our welcome email, but how can we set up the process so that when a user clicks on that sign me up button, their email subscription status becomes opted in. And that's what we'll set up next using a canvas user update step. So create a canvas and we'll call it DOI link alias click trigger. And the entry schedule will be action based um, for based on interact with campaign. And then it's going to be the specific filter, click alias in email. And for me, and you'll see all the campaigns that have an eligible alias and their alias uh, names. I only have one, but in case you have multiple, make sure to choose the correct one. Um, and then let's see. So now whenever a user clicks on that specific link from our welcome email, uh, which is this campaign right here, this canvas will trigger. Um, and once again, we will limit our audience to just myself. Awesome. And then let's go ahead and build our canvas. So go ahead and click the user update step. Um, and that's all there will be to this canvas, just the user update step. And then let's go ahead and click the advanced JSON editor because we're gonna need to add just one small snippet of code, which is this, which you'll be able to find in the YouTube description. So what, what's happening here is when a user enters this user update step, they'll get their email subscribe attribute change to opt it in. Let's go ahead and click done. And it's as simple as that. Um, anytime someone clicks on that link alias, which is that sign me up button, they're going to enter this canvas, go through the canvas, get their attribute changed, and then that'll be it. Let's go ahead and launch and see it in action now. Now that we're all set up and good to go, let's go ahead and click our CTA in our welcome email. But right before I click on it, so let's just confirm that my user profile's email subscription status is subscribed, which it is under the engagement tab. Okay, and then after we click on our email, hopefully we see this changing to opted in. So let's go ahead and head over to my email. This is the email to click on. Clicked on it. And you can even see the link ID 46PV that we pointed out earlier. Back to our user profile. Let's give it a minute for everything to refresh and trigger. And look at that. We are now opted in. And you can also see that Actually, it won't mention that we received the canvas uh, DOI click trigger, uh, click a trigger uh, the title because we didn't actually receive a message from it, but we can see that our email subscription state did change from subscribe to opted in. And that's it for today. As always, if you have any questions, please share them in the comments. We're happy to help. If you learned something from this video, then please subscribe for more awesome Braze videos in the future. Thank you for watching and see you next time.